Well, more than three years after the Waldo Canyon fire, the threat of flash floods are still very real, especially for those living along Ute Pass. And tonight, there was an event to help people stay safe. KRDO News Channel 13's Bart Bedsoul live along Highway 24 tonight. So what was the message tonight, Bart? Hey, good evening, James. Uh, really, the goal tonight was two parts. One, finding out what the county and state have done to minimize the risk of flooding over the past few years. And also, people found out what they could do to help protect themselves in the area of Green Mountain Falls, Cascade, and other areas. Interesting sight tonight. Here is Fountain Creek along Highway 24. As you can see, it's flowing pretty good, and we haven't had significant rain in a long time. So you can only imagine what this would be like with a few inches of rain coming down the mountain. It was July of 2013 that a river of black water came flowing down Highway 24. Some of it into parts of Manitou Springs, all of it pouring off the mountains that surround Ute Pass. The ground no longer able to absorb the rainfall due to the Waldo Canyon fire in 2012. Today, that burn scar is still there, and so is the risk of flash flooding. And while we think those spring, spring rains may not come and we've seen snow a little bit, we are going to see some, some rainy times. Although the Waldo Canyon fire covered a large area west of Colorado Springs, the area most impacted by the floods that followed are the ones who live along Ute Pass. Most of the 50 or so people from that area who attended this week's presentation have their own memories of the floods that followed the fire. It came up out of the banks and never got up to my house. State and county leaders explained that $50 million was spent to minimize flooding, but that it's impossible to know how much those projects will help. A new threat in 2016, dead trees. County officials say trees tend to fall over about three years after a fire, and there are still a lot of trees still standing. Basically, what we're seeing now, because the trees were so damaged, they're starting to come down. And if we get water on top of that, it will bring those trees down potentially onto Highway 24. Now, the Waldo Canyon has only grown back to about 20% of what it was before the fire. It'll take about 10 years, we're told, for it to fully recover. If you missed any of the helpful information tonight at the meeting, if you couldn't attend, you can find links to the same helpful info on our website, krdo.com. Bart Bedsel, KRDO News Channel 13.